What's your style inspiration? Like a sexy grandpa. Do you think you need to be rich to go to fashion school? We are on our way to FIT, where we're going to interview some students now. What's your name? Um, my name is Madeline, and I'm an interior design major. These are my roommates, these tights. I love ripped tights. I rip all my tights. I got yeah, that idea from my sister. I ripped them for me. I can't do it myself. Literally everything plus the belt is from Salvation Army. And what about your accessories? My accessories, I made this. Uh, it's just a rosary crucifix. I got this from some store I can't remember, and then I got this down the shore. I love it, and then can I just ask you both, like, what's your style inspiration? I kind of want to look like Victorian time traveler, like sick little boy. I think that's cool. Just sick shit. <sighs> I don't know English. What's your major? Footwear and accessories design. This tall tee drifted somewhere. Same with the pants, Tom Angels, sneakers. Wait, and can I see your nails also? Oh yeah, plus the blue polish. <laughs> I got a lot of comments in my last video. Oh my gosh, why are they wearing fast fashion? Why do you think fashion students would still wear fast fashion. Well, they give us a discount. I can say I did indulge in fast fashion a couple of years ago, but that's before I knew because I moved to New York in January, and before then I didn't really know what fast fashion was. But once I did figure it out, that's why I started thrifting. And it really does suck that everyone is giving into fast fashion, but it's also based off of like trends in social media. They want it as fast as they can, so they'll yeah. just go to this fast fashion. Like she in. Yes. Can we go through your outfit, what you're wearing? Oh damn. Um, I actually thrifted everything. Nice. Besides the Dr. We're matching. Yeah. I feel like everyone in the school has socks. Yeah, yeah, that's legit true. And can I ask you also, like, what's your style inspiration? A dad. Like, like an old man. Like. <laughs> Like a sexy grandpa. I think a lot of them are trying to keep up with trends and staying on trend per se to have a larger closet. I feel like there's a stigma about re-wearing items as well, so it leads to overconsumption. Hi, I'm Blake Sylvie. I'm an FBM major. For shoes, I'm wearing these vintage shoes. I call them my pool party shoes because I don't know, I think they're funky. A skirt my friend gave me actually, it's just a vintage. Then a mini skirt, Diamante belt that I got from Poshmark. Diorable, Dior 2003. T-shirt. Are you serious? Yeah. I love! 2000 Millennium Dior sunglasses. Blue Marine Hobo bag, which I got from Second Street like four years ago. And then I'm wearing this laser that I found at a thrift store that I thought go to the oh shop. My God. What's your name? I'm Hiro. H-I-R-O. Hiro. Hiro. Nice to meet you. And do you go to FIT? No, I never go there. I have a friend there. Uh, it's my friend. I, I got it. To have a lot. Are you in college? I'm not in college. I'm just here like for travelers. Oh really? Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Oh you're from Japan? Oh it's okay, that's welcome. I'm wearing more British style today. It's kind of like chalk pan, mokajo one. And your shoes? Sixties Converse. Are you serious? They're yeah, like vintage? I, I bought it in like safety shop. Yo, that's crazy. What's your name? Batsheva. Batsheva. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Do you think you need to be rich to go to fashion school? That is a little bit of a lie for one simple reason. If you stay in New York and you get in state tuition and you get like asked for something, it's free to go here. Also, half of us are on loans. So it, it is not free. I can't say there is like kind of a stigma of like rich kids and like whatever, but it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Hey, excuse me? I'm making a video about what people are wearing at FIT and I really loved your outfit. Would you mind being in a YouTube video? Uh, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Yay! What's your name? I'm Eileen. Eileen, okay, and what's your major? Uh, my major is fashion design and the merch. Uh, and ooh, your shoes. Yeah, yeah. Your shoes are amazing. Yeah, Marjorie, yeah. And your dress? Yeah, this is Baba Dudu. You look so good! I'm Carmen, my major is FBM. What's your outfit? Where's it from? Um, my shoes are from Ralph Lauren. I got this vintage Italian bag that I literally use every single day. It's my favorite. I love the leather on it. Um, this shirt's just like a plain shirt I stole from my roommate, if I'm being completely honest with you. Nice. And, <laughs> and these pants are also my roommates. I really had no time to get ready today, so it was just a chill fit. And I'm sure you get this a lot, but I flipping love your eyes. Oh my Thank god. Thank you so much. <laughs> What's your name? What's your major? Uh, I'm Maddie. I'm in fashion design. Nice. And can you walk me through your outfit? Yeah, so the skirt is vintage Isamiyaki. Wow. The top is I knitted myself. What, are you serious? Yeah, it has oh, like a cutout it. in it. Oh, I love it. And then the boots are and the Mila Meester. They have a back lace. Wow. And then the blazer is just cost. You know your brands, like yeah. Isai Miyagi, Andy Mueller, <laughs> my god, yeah. and your glasses? They're from Gentle Monster. Gentle 
<laughs> you, you got good taste. Thank you. <laughs> do you think thrifting has just become like a trend that people are doing or do you think society has actually evolved in the positive? I think that it's involved, evolving in the positive. I haven't shopped in like a retail store in probably like the past four years. Oh my god, um, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when stuff looks brand new so I always like to buy my stuff secondhand anyway and it's sustainable. My name is Anna Egan. I'm an FBM major. So cool. And what is your outfit? Let's go through it. Okay, this is vintage from the 70s. I got it at a flea market. This is from Goodwill. Oh my and God. then these are Dolce Vita boots and then a Heaven Mark Jacobs bag. I love the... Oh, thanks. Yeah. The little gems. The little gems. Do you think that's like a little bit like more in style recently. I've noticed like a few other people also having like teeth gems or face gems. Yeah, I saw it on Pinterest. Like I saw it with like the little like face pearls. I'm Sarah and my major is AMC. Cute, and wait, what does that stand for? Advertising, marketing, communications. There we go, and what are you wearing top to bottom? Uh, this is a jumpsuit. I believe I got it in the, clear, the clearance section at Zara. I got my Doc Martens. These I thrifted. And this is from Cool Girl Clothing. It's at, they actually sell that at the style shop. Oh wait, what's the style shop? That is our store here on campus at FIT. Oh wait, can anybody go there? Is it open to the public? I don't believe it's open to the public. I think just students, but it's really, really cool. Something that, you know, people should check out. What's your style inspiration? Ooh, that's tough. It changes pretty much every day. I would probably say like, Y2K, definitely New York City party girl. I mean, sustainability is obviously a big buzzword, but it's hard to define, and so it doesn't really affect what a lot of people do. Do you think there's like some sort of pressure to dress up when you get to FIT? I don't think so. I think everyone has their own unique way of like feeling comfortable in their outfit. I don't think I would be very comfortable if I was dressing like in sweatpants or something. So I think that everyone kind of just does their own thing, whether they have like a 9 a.m. class and they're lazy or like they have like a 6 p.m. class and they're going out after, you know?